Well, the first thing we have to understand is obviously uh, discussions about resilience precede the EU global strategy. So there was a lot of discussion on in the kind of in the context of development policies and humanitarian policies. However, obviously the time when resilience has come to prominence has been with the EU global strategy where resilience is mentioned a dozen times and it has been with the EU global strategy that the EU has thought seriously about implementing this at the European level and this has to be understood in the context of um, a number of crises and kind of stressors that the EU was uh, subject to in, in the years preceding the EU global strategy. Uh, obviously the kind of the geopolitical tensions in the east and the south, um, uh, Brexit, uh, uh, the arrival of uh, Donald Trump to the to the U.S. presidency, all those issues, um, you know, raise a lot of concerns among EU policymakers about the role of the EU in the world and the need to uh, respond to these challenges in a much more effective way. Resilience provides an answer to some of those concerns or some of those those questions by. Uh, rethinking the way that the EU acts in the world, in particular understanding uh, you know, the complexity of, uh, and uncertainty of the world that, that we live in and focusing more on, on building and, and fostering the capacities of our partners. Resilience in, as such allows uh, the EU to, to approach these issues in a different way First of all, by, by taking into account all the different kind of uh, causal factors at different levels in, in different dimensions, so taking a much more, uh, taking complexity seriously and also taking a, a much more uh, systemic approach to uh, conflicts and crises. And the other kind of added value of resilience is that it puts an emphasis, as I mentioned earlier, on the capacities of of our partners and on fostering those internal capacities um, at the local level. You know, from my perspective also, it allows the EU to take a much more pragmatic uh, approach in foreign policy, uh, moving from this kind of linear and modern understanding of the world where they, uh, you know, that is kind of based on these universal values towards a much more kind of pragmatic focus on you know concrete um, uh, the consequences of concrete actions uh, and the realities on the ground and I think the biggest challenge of all is for the EU to to fully implement this idea of you know of uh, fostering facilitating local capacities um, to you know to ensure that um, the that the EU kind of stays on the kind of the sidelines that the focus is on you know, on emerging capacities at the e at the local level. That's that's the key challenge that the EU faces in the in the years to come.